Hello everyone. Today we will look at how to create cloth simulation in Blender. So we'll go and open a new file. We will move this cube above the ground. So we put it one, and we're going to create a plane. This will act like a ground and once we scale anything we'll have to go to object apply and scale i will add another plane scale it move it up a little smaller perhaps and again i'm going to go to object apply and scale so we need to make sure that our scale is applied now uh, if you look at the wireframe we don't have any geometry for our cloth so this is going to be our cloth this is our ground and this is just an object all right so we need more geometry for the cloth simulation to work a cloth is more like sculpting you know and any time you want to sculpt something you need geometry so I'll go to edit mode, use the edges, and then go to edge, subdivide. And here I'm going to say 25. All right, so you get a lot of geometry. Uh, the more geometry you have, the better results you get, but also it takes uh, more time for simulating. Okay, now how do you simulate this? Is you go to the physics tab and we make it a cloth this object is going to be the collision object but before that we'll look at what happens so the cloth falls down but we want the cloth to interact with this so we click on the collision for this and when you play now the cloth collides but it doesn't collide with the ground so we'll select the ground and we add collision now when we play it's going to collide with the ground as well all right so what we need to do is we can go down here under collision and then we can also turn on self collision all right so when we collide okay so this looks good now if you go to object shade smooth Okay, this is what is the final result. It is still not very clean. So we can add a subdivision modifier and add a level of subdivision to it. And then what we will add, do is we will add a solid frame modifier. Okay, and then you have to start applying everything. And now you have a cloth object. Okay, now we just do some texturing. So we'll add a color. So find some interesting texture that you would like to put. So I have some fabric. So say this fabric. Okay, and then if you go to shading, you can select this and hit Control P. So you can tile it multiple times. So maybe three, three. So now you have multiples of that. And then we don't have any bumpness to it, roughness. So you can add a normal map. and collect the normal map to normal map and you can then drag this out drag this out drag, and then add the same image to strength or color it's point two okay so this is what you get and then 
to add uh, global illumination you can add environment texture an HDRI image an indoor scene you can reduce the intensity of that and you get a clock model okay that's about it thank you very much